A 40 watt light bulb is connected to a 120 volt source. So this is the average power and that is RMS. What is the peak current through the uh, light bulb? It's resistance, the light bulb's resistance. And what is the peak power that it dissipates? Okay, so peak current. Let's find the RMS current and then we'll find the peak current, I feel like, yeah? Okay, so IRMS uh, is equal to, we just do some math here, right? Uh, it's power divided by voltage. I'm using the formula power is IV, right? Okay, so that's going to be 40 divided by 120 is equal to one third, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just so spacey, right? 0 0.33333 uh, um, amps, right? Now the peak, uh, we know that that equals uh, RMS, right? Is equal to uh, the peak uh, divided by, whoops. IRMS, right, is the peak divided by the square root of 2. So therefore, um, if we want the peak current, we're going to multiply the RMS by square root of 2, right? So uh, I peak is equal to square root of 2 times uh, 0 0.333. Okay, so I'm going to go times square root of 2. And I get the first answer here, right, is 0 0.4714 amps. Okay, so that's the peak current. So if you're following that, I found the RMS current, and that's going to be just the average power divided by the average voltage, right? Okay, RMS is like average. And if it doesn't say peak, it's average. It's RMS, that kind of an average, right? Okay, then I use this formula here, this guy to relate the RMS to the peak, right? So there's our peak. Okay, so what is the resistance of the battery? Um, I'm just gonna go back to our power thing. We've got power and voltage, and so that formula that relates those is V squared over R, right? And so therefore R is V squared over P. Right? As long as we have RMS, we're good, right? And that is RMS, so it's gonna be 120 squared divided by 40. Right, so 120 squared divided by 40 is equal to 360 ohms. Right? And I could do that because this is the RMS voltage and that is the average power. Okay? And say peak power, it's the average power, right? And what is the peak power it uh, dissipates? Well, uh, let's use this one here, right? Okay, so the peak power is going to be uh, twice the average power, right? So um, peak power is twice the average power, I mean, due to this thing, right? So that's gonna be two times 40, right? Which is 80 watts. Now let's imagine that you look at this and you're like, ah, I can't do it, oh, all right, right? Um, you could figure out the peak voltage and multiply it by the peak current and you'll get 80, okay? Uh, I mean, that'd be another way that would work. I just did the easiest way.